Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will discuss on chapter number 4, Frosts. What is the meaning of frosts? Frost is defined as the, a physical quantity which causes an object to move, stop, change its direction, or change its physical form. A force is a push or a pull on an object. And it is a vector quantity, meaning that we need to consider the magnitude and also the direction as well. The force requires an agent. That is, a force has specific, identified cause, something, something this, the pushing or the pulling. A force is either a contact force or a long range force. Gravity is the long range force we will deal with in this semester, which is on chapter number 7. The SI unit of the force we can write as kilogram meter per second square because F equals to MA, M is kilogram, A is meter per second square, or we can straight away we write Newton or capital N. In this chapter, there are five types of different forces. Number one is the weight equals to mg. Number two is tension. And this tension is due to the string or a rope or a wire. Okay, number three is normal force. Okay, sometimes they will write reaction force R. Number four is frictional force. Frictional force equals to mu N. Okay, and last one is external force, capital F. So this external force, it could be a pushing force. or maybe cause of a pulling force okay so let us start number one the first process is weight okay so weight is defined as the force exerted on a body under gravitational field or near the face surface of the earth so the agent of the weight force is the entire earth pulling on the object meaning that the directions of this force will always point vertically downward okay because it is a uh, due to the gravitational force okay so the equations we can write it as okay the equation we can write it as our weight is equal to m, m is the mass, g is the gravitational acceleration is equal to 9.81. Okay, so the force, if in a plane surface, your weight will acting downward. Okay, if in the inclined surface also, your weight also will acting vertically downward. Okay. Okay, the next one is tension. Okay, so tension in Malay we call it ketegangan. Okay? Tension when there is a string, a rod, wire pulls on an object, it exact a contact force that we call it as a tension. So the agent of the tension force is because of the string, a rod or a wire. Okay? So the directions of the tension force is always away from the object. Okay, if we referring to A, meaning that the directions of the tension must come up from object A. Okay, the tension is the same at all point in the rock. Okay, so meaning that if they say same string, we will have the same tension. Okay, the symbol we use is capital T. So let us draw the tension okay if this is a string 
if we are referring to this object, so the tension is at out from the object, so it is acting upward. Okay, let's say we label T1. If we are referring to the shilling here, so the tension come out from the shilling will be tension 2. Okay, however, T1 will equal to T2 because they are same string. Okay, they are same string. Only meaning that the magnitude same but different direction. Okay, so if you are referring to object A, tension is up. So we label it as tension from object A. Okay, if let's say we are referring to object B, tension will come up from away uh, from object B. So your tension B is also acting upward. Okay, however, TA will also equal to tension B because they are from the same string. Okay, they are same string. So TA tension from come out from A and also tension come out from object B are the same. Okay, because the keyword is they are from the same string. Okay, next one is the frictional force. Okay, so we have two types of frictional force. Friction is defined as a force that opposes okay, berlawanan. The relative motions of two surfaces in contact. Okay, so it's opposed to the directions of the motion. Okay, and the agent of the friction, of course, it must be a rough surface. Okay, if let's say smooth surface, there's no frictional force. In our syllabus, the surface is always smooth unless the question stated it is a rough surface. So we always assume that it is a smooth surface unless the question stated that it is a rough surface. So the friction is directly proportional to the reaction force. So we can write frictional force equals to F equals to mu. Mu is the coefficient of the friction N. Okay. The coefficient of the friction is defined as the ratio between the frictional force to the normal force. Okay, so if we arrange back our coefficients is equal to frictional force over normal force. Okay, mu depends on the nature of the surface. So different surface we have different coefficients of friction. Depends the surface, uh, the, the surface, the contact surface. So there are three types of friction: static friction, kinetic friction, and also a rolling friction. Frictional force acting on the object before it's moved. If static friction meaning that initially there is no motion. Okay, meaning that it's not moving. Now V equals to zero. Static friction point in the direction necessary to prevent the motion. Okay, so we want to see the directions of the frictional force is we need to we need to find out the directions. Huh? So the direction is Opposite with the motion to prevent it to fall down. Kinetic friction, or we call it dynamic friction, is the frictional force at on the object when it is moved, when it is moving. So the kinetic friction point in the opposite directions of the velocity. Okay, so similar, it will oppose the changes of the motion. Okay, meaning that if the motion is moving to the right. So the frictional force is opposite direction. It will be to the left. Okay, rolling friction is the frictional force at an object where it is rolling. Okay, next one. The value of kinetic frictions between two surfaces is less than the value of static friction. So the frictional force for kinetic energy is less than the frictional force for static friction. Okay, let us draw the free body diagram. So the first one, static friction. Static friction, if you observe this object, is not moving and it is a rough surface. Okay, so when the object is about to move, when the object is start to move, just before the object begins to move. So this is the keywords, huh? how we know it is the static friction. 
Okay, so in order to prevent this object to fall down, so our frictional force must be opposite direction, meaning that it must be pulling upward. Okay, because we want to prevent the object from falling downward. Okay, so we can label it as frictional force F, S meaning is static. Okay, next one for kinetic friction. Okay, usually the question will let you know it is a it is a rough surface. So if the object is moving to the right, our frictional force is acting to the left. Okay, so this is our frictional force kinetic. Okay. So similar if the object motion is to the left, okay, is to the left, meaning that your frictional force will acting opposite direction, it will move to the to the right. Okay, so it depends on the motion. Okay, okay. Next one in an in an inclined plane, if the motion is moving downward, so meaning that your frictional force is acting upward. Okay, so similar, if let's say your object, okay, is pushing or pulling upward, the motion is upward. Okay. So, frictional force we are acting downward. Okay, so actually it depends on where is your motion. Okay, frictional force is always opposed the relative motion of two surfaces in contact. Okay, so this is number three. Number four, normal force. Okay, so sometimes books will label as normal force. Some book will label as R. R is the reaction force. So normal force is defined as a reaction force. Okay, so that's why some they use N, some they use R. That is exerted by the surface on an object in contact with the surface, meaning that it must this object must have the contact surface. Okay, must have contact surface. So the agent of the normal force is actually the contact surface. Directions. Normal force is always perpendicular to the contact surface. Okay, and the symbol we use is capital N or capital R. Okay. So meaning that if your object is on a plane surface, as long as there is a contact surface, your normal force must be perpendicular 90 degree with the contact surface. So we label it as capital N. Okay? If for this object, okay, it is near to the wall, so the contact surface is the wall. Okay, this is the contact surface. So your normal force must be perpendicular come up from the contact surface. Okay? Okay, if let's say this is an inclined plane. And your object is on the inclined plane. So the normal force must be 90 degree to the contact surface. Okay, so your normal force is in this direction. Okay, okay, last one extension force. So extension force here, we have two types of extension either it's pushing or it is pulling on the object. Okay, so we usually will use capital F to represent the external force. Okay, so the direction is given in the question. Okay, so okay, if you look at the diagram beside, this person is pushing or pulling. Okay, it is pulling. Huh? Okay, it is pulling. So the direction of force, of course, is in this direction because it is pulling to the right okay and diagram number two this person is pushing okay is pushing so this is pushing okay so when it is pushing of course it is, it is pushing to the right okay so we will follow back the directions of the pushing or pulling force okay so that's all for this chapter number 4. There are 5 forces, weight, tension, friction, normal force and also frictional force. Okay. 
so that's all for today hope you enjoy my video remember to subscribe my channel and like okay see you on next video have a nice day bye